Juggernaut live. This is the main event of the evening. It's me. Hello, you wonderful people. How's it going? Yes, we are doing more PlayStation. Yes, even more PlayStation. And we're coming out the gate swinging. Road Rash 3D. We did Road Rash last night. We kind of shoehorned it in just before the Sony uh, conference went live at E3. Which was a mixed bag. You know, there were some great games. Last of Us 2 looked incredible, didn't it? Uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake, which has now been confirmed to also be out on... PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Um, that looked phenomenal. That Ghost of Tsushima looked pretty decent as well. Graphically stunning, but I'm not too sure on the gameplay on that one yet. Yeah, it was a um, pretty good, pretty good showing last night. Although I'm not quite sure what the deal was with Gustavo Hero playing music before each and every game. It seemed like a giant waste of time. Oh, and the way that they ended the conference was a bit weird too, wasn't it? I mean, they showed Spider-Man. They say, "Look, here's Spider-Man," and then. After that, pfft, nothing. No sign off, no anything. It seemed like a bit of a rush job with the whole conference. But the meat of the show, you know, the actual games, they look pretty good. There was some good stuff there. Um, yeah, I'll give them a solid B. Maybe a B plus. Yeah, yeah. But this game ain't gonna get no B. This game's awesome. This game is an unsung hero, and I've run out of batteries. Shit. Right, just bear with me a second. While I switch. I'll switch my batteries out. The joy of wireless controllers. I've been playing so many games lately on MU, not my controller has run out of juice again. It's about money, y'all. So let's pump that in. Get those charging. Hopefully these other batteries I've got here have enough juice to keep us running for now. If not, that'll put the kibosh on my plans for tonight. So I don't have any other batteries with me right now. Okay, I think we're good to go. But, of course, because the controller reset, I have to reset the game to go with it. Oh, excuse me. So, second time's a charm. But yeah, Sony, Sony's conference was, was fairly strong. I'd say Microsoft's was possibly stronger in some ways. It definitely showed more games at the Xbox conference. But, let's be honest, neither one of them stood close to matching the giant steps that Bethesda's show made. Holy crap, was that impressive. It was just wall to wall. Absolute killer with zero filler. It was just shapow, whack, boom. This is what we're doing now. This is what you're going to see soon. And this is what you're going to see for the next generation, which hasn't even really been announced yet. You know, it, it was just like, wow. Okay, we know we've got a lot of good stuff to look forward to out of Bethesda. And Wolfenstein Youngblood? Wow, I was not expecting a sequel to Wolfenstein so quick after the first game. Well, the last game, should I say. That came out of nowhere, and it's a pleasant surprise. Doom Eternal? Ooh, I, I want to see more of that. I'm a huge Doom nut. I'm going to get a content strike while entering my name, because... Entering names is hard, man. Gonna go. Oh, too far. Yeah, gets a bit easier near the end of my name. There we go. As I said the other night, if I ever rename myself, I'm just gonna rename myself. And then, and then I don't have to worry. I can just go. And I'll probably be on the high school board of most video games ever. Okay, so we've got racer sports, rat or cruiser bikes. Well, I'm a cruiser. Cruising for a bruising. 
Let's go. Let's go. Sunday driving. I don't know why this game gets a bad reputation. I really don't. I thought this game was solid. It feels very different to Road Rash, the regular Road Rash. Maybe that's why. It's just uh, it's got that slightly marginally alien feel to it, possibly for a lot of people. It's a lot harder to hit somebody off their bike, so you've got to really wind that puppy up. Whoa. I've gone off the rails, off the rails, or just off the trails. How do I reverse? Come on. Ah. Well, that screwed my race totally. I can't move. There we go. So there's quite a lot of inertia on the bike. When you start leaning into the corner, it takes a long time for your bike to kind of pull out from that corner. It's not as easy to control as Road Rash used to be. You know, the old Road Rashes on the Mega Drive and the first Road Rash on PlayStation, the corners were kind of secondary. You didn't really need to worry that much about them. It was more about dodging traffic and smacking other people in the face. Whereas this one, you, you really have to control your bike as well. As well as trade paint with other bikes and trade punches with other riders. Okay. Bit of the old tea party playing in the background now. This game had a good soundtrack if you like kind of rock music. Wrong way! This is one thing I did like about this version of Road Rash. It fleshed out the courses somewhat. So you could go wrong ways, you could kind of lose your way. It wasn't just you glued to the track. I'm going to get arrested if I'm not lucky. Yep, I'm arrested. Go! Okay, next race. One thing I have noticed is that my analog stick isn't working. So I'm just going to double check my controller. Just bear with me. Controllers. No, it's on. Okay. Alright, well, we'll, uh, we'll go back into Road Rash 3D and we'll do the other race. I'm going to open a beer. Because why not? It is midnight after all. I'm not going to enter my name again, screw that, that took way too long. Okay. So we've got different races, depending on what bike we have. Let's go for Heart Attack Hill. Let's start rashing. There we go. Now my analogs are working. Well, we lead, now we.
as I said, you really do have to focus a little bit on the road in this one. Maybe that's what other people don't like about it, but me, it just added an extra bit of challenge, you know, it fleshed out the courses. Ooh, that's nasty. Or maybe people didn't like the fact that you no longer have to run back to your vehicle after you crash. I mean, I don't mind that. It would have been nice to have that old feature back in. But, you know, to streamline the actual gameplay, I can understand why they removed it. Get out of my face! Well, that guy's got a 2x4. second. Come back! Got a present for you. It's a knuckle sandwich. And don't forget, it's better to give than it is to receive. So I'll receive that and I'll give it back. Maybe at the end of the race. My opposition are right behind me, but it matters not. Kicking ass, taking names. Gotta love the FMV in this. Evening, guys. How's it going? I love the victory lap Should we go for a ride to Grandma's house? Hmm. Or take the skyline. Let's go for uh, let's go mountain rolls to uh, mountain roads to rural hills. Not bad, good, good, good. Nice to hear that, guys. And we're off. I'm going to change the view this time. So right up the rider's asshole view. Get a real sensation of that speed. The frame rate's pretty consistent in this. For a relatively early PS1 game, it's, it's technically quite decent. What game is this? This is Road Rash 3D. A game that often gets panned by people, but for some reason, I, I really disagree with them. I think this game's great. I don't know why people shit on it so much. I can understand why people don't like Jailbreak, but this, this is fantastic. I, I, I think this is awesome. And it will be in my top list, absolutely. Now you notice I picked up the 2x4 in the last race. I still have it in my possession, so I can apply it to people's faces and make them look prettier as I ride. Wee. Never played this one, but played Road Rash games on the Mega Drive, yeah. This one will never reach the heady heights of Road Rash 3, which personally, um, well, should I say Road Rash CD, 
which is kind of a mixture between Road Rash on the PlayStation and Road Rash 3. I don't think any Road Rash will ever beat that one. But this is very good, and for its first foray into 3D, I reckon they did an, an, an incredible job on this. Hey! That was close. Ah! The greed, I was too busy on rearranging the guy's nose. Didn't notice the car till it was too late. On the plus side, he fell over too. Ha 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 ha, you may be dead. Nearly lost it. Lost it. Shit. Oof. Love this game. This came out at the right time for me. On the right system with the right control method. It, it just feels so good to play. Again, I have no idea why so many people dislike this. Come on, around that corner. Around the corners. Whee! First place. Yeah. I reckon we do one more race of this and then we move on to Jailbreak. Because while Jailbreak won't be in my top 100 PlayStation games of all time, it will be in one of my biggest disappointments lists. Yay, bikes. Action-packed FMV sequence, that one. Hey, your kid just gave me the wrong finger, Rox. What kind of mama are you? All right, let's go for night in Kansas. Do a bit, bit of a different camera angle again. That's too far away. Yeah, this is this is actually hard to race with because it's so far away. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this camera angle for long because it's going to do me in. Yeah, let's swap over. Maybe that one. That, that might work for me. Just for a bit of difference in the footage. Ah, cars. Back on the road. Mm -hmm. Not right behind the car though. Nearly lost my vehicle again. Nearly swung out too far. Okay, regroup. Try not to kill the pedestrians. And by try not, I mean try. Okay. I love the audio sound effects when you go through the tunnel and coming back out of it. Rooming on into second place. It's first in my sights. Yeah, he got caught up in traffic. Free and open road for now. Let's pull a wheelie to celebrate. Yee doggy! Let's 
someone's catching up. We've got some sharp corners as well for him to catch up on. He must have stacked it. He's far behind me now. Far behind me. The finish line's in the distance. Getting there quick. It's going to be nothing but net. Look. Uncontested, providing I don't smack into a vehicle like, a, like an idiot. No, oh, well. Not even the cops can catch me at this point. Thank you very much. That's an easy W. Congratulations, our winner is you! I loved with fans on a pack of infant bullies. We flew them. Should we do the last race and move on to the next segment? There might be a good cutscene, so. Yeah, let's do the last race. There may be a decent cutscene as we move up in the in the in the game. I can't quite remember. But it's worth checking anyway. This game's great. I don't mind playing this all day long. The content ID claims are gonna kill me, but. Ah, screw them. Just means that if you're watching this live, you're going to get the music, and if you're watching it pre-recorded, chances are you're not going to be hearing a word I say because it'll be muted heavily by the copyright content creators. Heading through the forest, you got wood? I do. You want to see my wood? Here, have a close-up. Whoa! Ooh, Superman just flew past. Yeehaw! Oh, nearly went the wrong way. That's not good. Recovered. Just barely. In the third. Yeah, come back. Come back, bull. Get off my road. No. Oh shit, spun out. Lost control. Too heavy on the corner. Not enough traction. Not enough skin. Skin graft on aisle three, please. <laughs> okay, but well luckily we caught back up. We're back in the fourth, despite that disastrous little bit of driving. We've still got a chance to come first. Is he fighting? I just drive on by. I didn't want to, I wanted to fight, but I missed. Ah, the road not taken. I wanted to administer smackies, but Oh shit! The only thing I smack is a vehicle. Oh, that one's gonna leave a mark. Right by the finish line too. Damn it. Ah, oh, that hurts. That's ruined my chances. I'm not gonna get a podium finish. Unless I'm very lucky on the next corner. Oh, stranger things have happened. Oh, second! Can I do it? Can I pip him to the point? Get past the post. Oh, it's risky. Yes! 
May you suck on my vapor trails and my balls. Yeah. Woo. Snatching victory away from the jaws of defeat. Again, the FMV sequences really do kind of emphasize the, the emotion behind the game. They're, they're great. They're really well done. Okay. I'm going to go to the restroom and save the game. Let's create a save game file. And then I'm going to come out of the restroom and admire that grunting man in the corner. Grunting in the restroom, dropping the juice. How about that? You don't see that every day. Well, well, unless you work security cameras in the bathroom, I suppose. But that was Road Rash 3D. It is a brilliant game, in my opinion. Uh, it doesn't get anywhere near as much love as it deserves, which is a crying shame because this game, I think was was yeah this was a sham i can fully understand that this game jailbreak ruined the series you know this is such a crushing disappointment especially after road rash 3d was done so well they tried to reincorporate the cartoony aesthetic of the original road rash on ps1 and it just didn't work in my opinion But let's play through. This will be on the disappointing PlayStation games list. Fill it up. Hey, I know you. You used to ride a motorcycle around these parts. Cheesy F and V. You know, you don't get to be my age by messing around with the likes of you. Really cheesy dialogue. Little fella. Punt. Punt? What are you calling that for? Okay. Let's lower down the music a touch. Hopefully that will uh, kind of eliminate a lot of the content ID strikes. I've got it very, very quiet, so... So we've got different campaigns in this one. Rather than just arcade and thrash mode, you've got Jailbreak and 5-0. You can play as the police, which... Who would want to play as the cops in Road Rash? What's wrong with you? Now you play Jailbreak. Four valves per cylinder, double overhead cams. And then you enjoy the cheesy, Fine, crummy attention. FMV. If Helmet can win with this thing between his legs, so can I. This is a fire breathing, asphalt eating, Desaad Chariot of Doom. Desaad Chariot of Doom. Get out of the way. Oh. Ah. I blew you away, Spaz. You suck. You should be killed. How appropriate. Whoever thought that was a great direction to take the game in should be killed. Okay, so we've got different gangs as well as different players that we can select in this one. They're all beautiful. Beautiful people in each gang. So you've got the Dessards, which are like, well, Hells Angels kind of thing. You've got the Cap Boys, they're, they're the boy racers. So you got to pick between the two. None of them really have the same appeal as the the first guys in the, in Road Rash. What do I want? What do I want? I'm gonna go stacks. So you got a, a rap sheet. Your stats this time they do kind of have basic stats that you can follow, so you can see how many 
people you've punched in the face over the course of the game. Nice little feature, I suppose, but could have been a bit more in-depth, really. But never mind, let's get into the race. Okay, and the first thing you notice is the visuals have taken a little bit of a downgrade. As has the speed. They tried to tighten up the fighting mechanics. Add a few extra lighting details here and there, but they lost something along the way. It's such a shame. Nah, not the policeman off this bike. Sorry for you just doing your job there, pal. See, I think they tried to make this game over the top and yeah, it just lost something like the fights don't have that kind of impact anymore there's too much chatter between the races it's it's not a bad game it's just not not what I wanted from a road rash you know they focused in all the wrong areas Okay, now you can go back to your bike. Whoop de do. They implemented their tech poorly. I mean, you look at how I impacted the car, for example. That seems like it's a pre cut animation rather than actual physics of me riding along the road. And then something like that happens, and your race is over, basically. I've got to run back so far to my bike, and I'm not actually controlling anything right now, I'm just letting go of the controller. It's a bit... shite. I'm finally at my bike. Here we go. Of course, now I have zero chance of winning the race. Absolute zero. And I've got the cops to contend with again. He won't be too happy with me considering I smacked him off his bike earlier. No, I don't want to pull over. Then we've got a bit of lens flare going on. A couple of extra visual effects added to the game. But the control's not there. The enjoyment's not there. It's just... It's just missing key elements. As I say, they focused in all the wrong areas from the look of it. Let's go for a waterfront race. Just for some more footage. Oh, I'd love to see a new Road Rash, wouldn't you? They were going to release one for the PS3 and 360. Somebody released a pitch for what Road Rash would look nowadays, and it looked awesome. But it never got picked up on. But I think now's the time, you know. Uh, Road Redemption showed that there's still life in the formula. People still want to play these kind of games, and I would love for EA to just surprise everyone. They could have really done with it this year too, because their conference was awful. Um, but if they said at the end of that conference, oh by the way, new road rash, everyone would be going out in their frickin' minds. There we go, another man down. 
So it kind of takes the skill away from knocking somebody off their bike too. Because the combat is so much easier, it's not as enjoyable. There's not as much sense of sheer satisfaction when you do knock somebody down. trying to steer around the car and nothing was happening so I'm gonna get busted because that cop's gonna catch me before I can get my bike especially when that happens see so when I look back at Road Rash 3D I can fully understand why they took the running back to your bike mechanic out of it And I've just noticed you can press a button to skip running back to your bike. So why would you ever run back to your bike? It wastes valuable time and it ruins your position in a race. So why have it included if you can skip it? It makes no sense, man. Let's get the bat out, shall we? Batter up! No, 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 don't hit me! No! I was supposed to kill you, not the other way round. Oh, that's bad, look at my health. Okay, well let's just press the skip running back to the bike button. Saves my energy as well. Let's see if we can get a position better than 10th. It's going to be difficult. I suppose. Okay, I'll take six. Had a couple of bad beats there. So. But I think that's enough recording a jailbreak. It is a bit of a disappointment, to be honest. It's, it's, it's a bit shite. And I'm a big fan of Road Rash. Jailbreak did nothing for me. I, I never even completed it. And I've completed every other Road Rash game. Except Jailbreak. Uh, so that, that goes to show how unfortunate that is. But that's the Road Rash series done, Ski. We've recorded footage for all of those. Now, what can be next on the list? What can be next on the list? Well... I want to check this out, actually. I've never seen this, but this is an unreleased technical demo for the PlayStation uh, for a PC game called Screamer. Now, I, I never knew that this tech demo existed. So I'm going to be seeing it for the first time with you guys. Interesting. Of course, as it is a tech demo, it's going to be very bare bones and it's going to be buggy and glitchy. But holy crap, is it fast? It's it's quick. Oh, it's yeah, surprisingly smooth and quick. There's definitely a good concept there, good engine behind it. I wonder why they didn't proceed further with the game. Oh, this is so smooth. This could actually be running at nearly 60 frames a second. Which is crazy for a PlayStation racer. There's, a, there's very few racing games that run at 60 on PS1. 
very few 3D games in general run at 60 on PS1. You know, you've got the, the Road Rash, uh, not the Road Rash, sorry, the Ridge Racer tech demo. That ran at 60. Okay, this does have some slowdown in places, but I'm impressed. I wonder why they never took it further. Look at it. It's it's pretty damn good. Whoa. Okay, I'm riding the rail a lot, but that's because it's so fast I'm not used to it. Whoa. That's really impressive. Now I've got to look into this engine further. I've got to see if it was ever implemented into any retail games, because, wow. You compare this to something like uh, RC Revolt that I played yesterday. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. This, is, this is a whole other level. Yeah. It's so quick, I can't handle it. So what other games were 60 frames? Motorhead was 60 frames on PS1. That's a game we, we should feature pretty soon, actually. In fact, let's feature it now. Let's feature it now. I remember it being good, but I don't really remember a whole lot about it. I remember being disappointed that it didn't have a official license from the Motorhead band and finding it was a completely different beast altogether, but the actual racing, I remember it being mostly set at night, and I remember it being quick, but other than that, no recollection. times. Is it loading? Has it crashed? I don't know. Let's give it a bash. Hmm. Hmm. Let's give it a few more seconds. It might just be a really long loading game. No. Let's try it again. I'll try and skip the FMV, see if that helps things along. So this is made by Gremlin Graphics. They made some great games back in the day. And I remember this being one of them. However, it looks like it's not going to run under emulation, so I'm going to have to run it on a real system at some point in the future. Bollocks. That's a bit of a shame. I was kind of looking forward to playing that again, to be honest. Never mind. Maybe we can cure the racing itch with something else. Okay, so what have we got? What have we got? I know. Where is it? Where is it? Did we do it already? No, we didn't. There we go. This should work. And this is a great game. Again, it's another game that not many people talk about. So it seems to be forgotten. It's mostly synonymous with the SNES and the Mega Drive. 
but it also came up on the PlayStation and Saturn. And it's a great kart racer. The Sega Saturn version, if I remember rightly, had eight player split screen. I'm not sure if the PlayStation had the same features, but we'll find out. Street Racer. Yeah, it does have the eight player split screen. So you got game mode normal or micro? That's interesting. So you can play it like a micro machine style game, or you can play it from, you know, regular cart view. So let's go for a for a championship race in regular view. one of our finely drawn characters. I always used to like Helmet, but my favourite was always this guy. It's the road rash in me. It, it just, yeah. <laughs> Big bald guy with a bat? Yeah, I'll take that. just going to have to get used to the Mode 7 style scaling, which may mean I play poorly for a little bit while I just get the hang of it, especially moving from a polygonal base racer into a 2D one like this. It takes a touch of getting used to, but at least we've got a nice simple race course to begin with. storm ahead. Come on, dude. I'm gonna catch ya. I'm gonna catch ya. Ah, oh, no, I'm not gonna catch you. Ah. Alright, if I can't catch ya, I'll just have to cope with second place. first now, a hog. Oh sh crap, I got a bomb on me. Okay, you can be you can be first. Come on. Let me catch up to you at least. Let me give you this. I got something to give you. Come back. Ah that's unlucky. Second place. I got a punch bonus. Here we go again. Come on, let me pass the bomb over. There we go. No, I just picked up another one. Just got rid of one and then get another. Not all power-ups are your friends in this game. Ah. I need to catch somebody to offload this on. There we go, just in time. So as you can see with this game, the courses are a bit claustrophobic. You know, on the SNES and the Mega Drive, of course, they sprawled into the distance. They weren't, they weren't actual looping courses. So when you see a looping course like this, it does feel a bit strange. 
but I do kind of like it. It has a power drift vibe to it. And as Power Drift is one of my favourite games ever, ever, ever. Yeah, there's there's no no disguising the fact that I like this game. It may be a bit simplistic by today's standards, but it's a lot of fun. And while it may not be one of the best racing games in the car genre, it's really enjoyable for me. I don't know if I'm going to put it in the top list though. There's a lot of competition for those 100 places. I'm not sure if this has got what it takes. I guess we'll find out when I compare it to other games and try and figure out the, the actual order of things. But we'll play this some more and then we'll do the micro mode and see how that differs. go down like, well, they go down quicker than the tie hooker, but aside from that. And it's over. How am I doing? Oh, top of the table. Just where I like to be. Oh, not quite at the top of the table. Second. It's not that bad. I believe this is helmet stage. And speak of the devil, there he is up front. They have a bomb. Hmm. That was interesting. I lost control then for a moment. And it felt like I should have been able to turn that corner. But for some reason I just went straight. Of course, you guys can check my inputs so that you know I'm recording this live. And it's not pre-recorded footage. I'm not just pretending to play it. You can see my inputs on my Xbox controller in the top corner of your screen. That might give you an indication on how things handle and how things control too. Sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can just see it through controller inputs where a game excels or where a game fails in terms of controls. Back. 
So yeah, as I mentioned, it's an Xbox controller, so of course, this game is running under emulation. PlayStation emulation is pretty good, but it's not perfect, so there are some games where I'm going to have to go back and re-record footage on the actual PlayStation, but for the most part, the MUs do a, do a good enough job of, uh, of representing what the actual thing is like. Ah, spinning out. I'm done in. That spin has screwed me. Never mind. No longer second. Fourth place on the table for that race. Overall, okay, I'm still second right now. And we're on lap, uh, race five out of six. Once we've done six out of six, we'll go do the micro mode. But yeah, these, these race courses are very intimate. They're fast, they're frenetic, they're tight. But they're not everyone's cup of tea. I know a lot of people will prefer less laps on longer race courses. But it's all down to personal preference at the end of the day. Yeah, there we go. I've, I've spun out again. I'm not entirely sure that's through fault of my own, to be honest. Normally I'll put my hands up and admit when I screw up and when I suck. But that didn't feel like it was my fault. But I am behind the curve now. And speaking of curve, this is basically just one oval. Might as well be a Daytona race course. Okay. There again, I've lost control for a second. Did you see that? Did you see that on my inputs? I just kind of slowed down and kind of petered forward along the straight. Never mind though. Still in second place overall. And this is Helmet's level. Yeah, I lost control again. Hmm. Okay, the race course is getting tighter now. bit dizzy to be honest. My age is a mofo. <laughs> My eyes can't cope up with this for long. Ah and again. I don't know whether I'm getting interference or whether it's the game. We're gonna plow ahead anyway. corners. An ultimate lap and it's nearly over. Last lap. Then again I lost the control. Damn it.
That's annoying. Still comes second though. Hello, Ed. How are you? How was work? Now remember, no specifics about work live on stream because that's naughty naughty, but you can say, yeah, it was all right, thanks. No, it's up, people are assholes. Okay, so let's do micro mode this time. Let's do a different character. So this is micro mode. Whoa, and does this feel weird? It's isometric, but it's not isometric. It's, it's, whoa, awkward. Oh, I don't like this. This this ain't so good. And the handling's different to the to the main view as well. It's a lot tighter, a lot crisper, it grips a lot more. Yeah, micro mode sucks, balls. Let's skip that. Yeah, okay, I've had enough of that. That sucks. It's a quick game. Now, there is another game mode that we need to play. Oh, wait, we can change to flat settings in micro mode as well. Let's do that super duper quick. We'll just do a practice run. Screw it. Let's see what flat mode looks like in micro. Okay, I'm not sure if that's better or worse. Either way, again, it's shite. Yeah, why on earth would you ever play this in micro mode? I don't know. This is awful. You can barely see which way your character's turning. Yeah, that's enough of that spanky very much. Right, so there's only one thing left to do and that's rumble. Let's go sumo. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh no, that's in miniature mode as well. Uh. Okay, this could be interesting. I couldn't even tell you where I am. <laughs> oh well, that's me dead. Well then. Okay, let's get out of micro mode and try that again. We might have some semblance of gameplay then. We'll go with Sulu guy. Yes, this is more like it. A little bit better. No, it's really zoomed out. Basically, you just want to avoid that bomb. So I'm just going to hide out over here. Oh no, I've got the bomb. Give it to somebody else, quick. Give it to somebody else, quick. Ah! Oh my word. Yeah, the rumble mode's not quite as good as the 16-bit versions. 
it's way too small to figure out what the hell is going on. We've got a couple of various views, but none of them really useful. So when you play Street Racer, stick to the racing. This is no bueno. Hey Isabel, yeah, this is indeed Street Racer. For all my sins, we are playing Rumble Mode. Oh, oh no, 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 ah, off the edge. Well, that is Street Racer. I think with miniature mode and with the rumble mode not being as good as the SNES and Mega Drive versions, I can't really include it in the top list. Um, the single player is really great, the championship mode is really great, the 8 player split screen, while I can't demonstrate it, is solid. But yeah, those other modes, no. Okay. Right, so, that gives us more space for some more great games. Let's get rid of that little bit of taste in our mouth from the rumble mode with a actual decent destruction derby by playing destruction derby. Derby mode out of the way straight away. Now this is one of the first PlayStation games and it's still really good fun to play. I'm a big fan of DD. Of course I can't demonstrate the PlayStation link up mode but that was a lot of fun as well. Change the race mode to DD. Do a championship, but we'll uh, we'll quit it after a race or two. That's why I shrink my name down and spell it wrong, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, so that I can fit it into eight characters put it high and proud on my scoreboards and in my games okay here we go the bowl now there are two ways of playing destruction derby mode one is go balls to the wall crush everything and hope that you survive. We'll do that for a while. And then we'll play it the other way, which is more known as the smart but somewhat cheating way. What a smash! Oh, let me find someone in here. There we go. Ooh, all full frontal. My controller has now been debilitated. I'm turning heavily to the left. So now it's time to do El Cheeto mode. Race backwards. See the rear of your car has way more protection than the front does. So you just reverse around the race course and hope you hit something. Although my control is so badly damaged right now, I can barely stay straight. In fact, that is me literally trying to go straight. So I haven't got a great deal of momentum right now to damage vehicles. I'm just trying to survive at this point. Alright, let's go forward a bit. Yes! Steering to somebody, you son of a bit. Hey, go in. There we go. My car's about finished. Oh, no. 
Oh. Your car's wrecked. So this time we're going backwards. Wow, nice points, Doctor. Next race. The bowl again. Because there is only the bowl in the first DD game. It was an early PlayStation title, you know. You've got different times of day, but the course is always the same. This time I'm not going to crash into the middle. I'm going to strategically place myself so that the front of my car doesn't get as much damage. I'm going to get myself off the wall though to do it. And we'll just plow into people backwards. Doesn't always work of course. Somebody can come around the front and hammer you. As you can see, I can take a couple of smacks without really damaging my vehicle. So while you don't get the stellar points for making somebody spin 360, you live. done in. My front end isn't far behind. Ooh, they're gang banging me. Ah. Look at the damage on my car. It's, it's a write-off at this point. Oof. Blow my radiator. Hey, come on. Let's get a good crash going. There's not much of my car left at this stage. Ah, and I hit the wreckage. You got wrecked. Okay, but that's destruction derby mode. Great fun. I can't remember the amount of hours that I played that with. Played it on the Sega Saturn, even though the Saturn wasn't a perfect conversion. Uh, played it on the, the PlayStation. Played it on PC as well. I love this game. It's it's a really good, solid game. And even though graphically it's aged quite considerably, the gameplay's still there. It's still there. What, 23 years later, and it's still enjoyable. You don't see that very often in 3D racing games. And we don't want stock car. What am I doing? Let's get it out. So let's just pick that. I'm just going to exit that real quick. I don't want stock car, I want wrecking racing. Uh, we want a championship to show a few levels. I'll enter my name so you know it's me driving. Here we go. Oh, 
So the idea is to not only finish the race, but to finish everyone else in the race. spam myself out rather than the opposition. They'll only slow you down. There's a spin out. I don't have to hit the guy in first, I can hit anyone I like. I'm just waiting for my shots. The downside is you hit somebody, they can slow you down and damage you. This is one of the, the first games that really introduced the concept of what I like to call rubbing racing. You know, rough house racing, racing, where you don't only have to worry about taking the lines, the best lines for the race and coming first, but beating up the competition as you do it. And it's a genre I really like. I'm not that graceful, I'm not that skillful when it comes to driving games. I prefer just to smash everything in sight. Now the downside with that is you can smash yourself quite easily, as I have just demonstrated. But, even if you don't win the race, you can still get the points. Next race. And levels like this are pure carnage. Spun out too, though. T-boned. Nearly T-boned somebody else. Okay, I might be able to spin him out. <laughs> Did you see that? Threading the needle. Crossroad yet. What are the odds? Nice. 
going on. Oh, massive pile up now. Okay, I really, really can't. Can't take it. No! Too aggressive. Let's view a replay because I want to see that threading the needle again. Oh, how lucky was that! I've got to see a replay of it. Okay, you want to watch some replays? Why, yes, I, yes, I do. And it really shows off what the PlayStation was capable of back in 1995. Look at these graphics. These graphics were far and beyond most things that we saw back back at this time. This was actually really impressive. Yeah. Where's that needle threading? Come on. There's the spin out. Okay, and while some of us watch the action replay, some of us will go into an ad break. So if you are hitting an ad break, I will see you in a moment. Don't go anywhere. And for the rest of us, let's watch that needle threading. Come on, where is it? There wasn't that lap. Here we go. Ugh. The amount of near misses I had. That one wasn't a near miss, that was a full on hit. My car's a bit of a mess at this stage. But you could really see the damage, not only in the visuals, but in the car control as well. It was it was way ahead of its time, really. This game helped usher in a new era of racing. Between this and Wipeout especially. Okay, well let's skip the replay. How do we get back from the replay? We'll do one more race and then we'll move on to the sequel. Now we've already done Destruction Derby Raw. That will be on the disappointing PlayStation game list. But Destruction Derby 2, uh, I think it deserves a spot just as the original does. I think they'll both be in the top 100 list. Or at least if my memory serves me right. Remember that choke point on this level? The amount of crashes I had there. On Ocean Drive. Of course, reflections were no stranger to. Uh, oh, excuse me. Reflections were no stranger to setting the standard and really wowing people with their tech prowess. Of course, these are the guys that made Shadow of the Beast on the Amiga. And if, I think they're also the company that went on to make Driver 
first driver and, and that really had impressive graphics for the PlayStation at that, that day and age. But DD1 and DD2 are still their crowning moments of glory, if, if you ask me. I think this, these are the best games they ever made. Some of the best games that Signosis ever put out there. It's just out and out fun. Ah, uh, okay. We overtook, but we took some damage doing so. Two more laps. And there's that choke point I mentioned. Always pile ups in there. I'm going to avoid conflict as best I can for this final lap. I really want to finish for once. <laughs> no! He says, careening into enemies. Okay, there's the finish line. We make it for once. Yeah! So, even though I came first in the race, I didn't get the most points during the race. So I didn't come first. That's the great thing about Reckon Racing. You don't have to be number one to be number one. Right, we're not going to do that race. We're going to move on to the sequel. Which, in my opinion, took the foundation of DD1 and improved it in every single way possible. This game is so good. So good. Or at least I remember it being so good. This isn't a licensed soundtrack. Yeah. So again, much like last time, we will go straight into the destruction derby mode. Show that off first before we do the races. Go DD mode. Total destruction. Let's stick with the rookie car as we did previously. Now this time we have different arenas. Some of them require unlocking. Well in fact all of them do. So that kind of limits our selection to, well, the Red Pike Arena. But there is more than one arena this time around. It doesn't have analog, unfortunately. You can't use a dual shock with this game. You have to stick to good old fashioned digital. So let's go do it. Let's go to Reg Pike. And 
instantly you can see the visual upgrades taking place. This was a real good looking game when it came out. And it's a real good fun game. The physics are improved, you're about to take The vehicles really have a punch to them. It feels good, it feels fast, it feels intense. It feels fun. And you now notice that cars can lift off the ground and lose wheels. I'm on them three wheels already. Wow, I got smashed. <laughs> Intense. Oh, and the old trick doesn't work. You can't you can't just go backwards anymore. you can get destroyed from the back. You've got less crumple points on the race cars now. You notice you've only got six major crumple Three, points. Two, one, go. Whoa, catching some major air there. Wow. It's all I said more realistic physics. I didn't mean realistic physics, you know. I just meant that the car spins more. Get more impact when you hit something. Speaking of impact, there goes my wheel. I am on my wheel, so I'm going to flip over. Let's watch it in first person mode. Enjoy the carnage. See, it's insanity. I can't turn. I literally can't turn. I've got two wheels. My front wheels are gone. Far more fast, far more frenetic, far more fluid. Destruction derby mode in this kicks ass. They're over, they're over way quicker, but they're a lot more fun, in my opinion. So we'll do another race on it, just one more, just for the hell of it, because I want to play it. So this time I'm going to hang back, let them hit each other, and then I'm going to run in. I still get smashed over that. Uh -huh. Where do you begin? Yeah. I'd like to get my car going, please. It's over before it's begun. Have I actually made any points yet? I don't want to make some points. Yeah. I've lost my wheels already, again. Look, my wheels are gone, my bonnet's gone. My car's gone. So it's only when a blink of an eye, but that blink of an eye is exciting stuff. Love it. Love it. Right, let's get on to Wrecking Racing. Go over to Pretty Pine Hills. You notice that the race courses have elevation as well now. And a bit of popping, but that's neither here nor there. This level is fairly straightforward. Just gonna hold it together on the jump. Of course, if you get hit on that jump, oh, you're in trouble. It's a whole world of hurt. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, 
that's not good. That's not good. as much fun as I remember it being back in the day. This is great. I'm having a good time playing this. Yeah. It's definitely one of my happy games. It makes me happy to play, no matter how well I do, good or bad. It's just, this just feels great. Get your blood pumping a little bit. Get you excited. you leaning forward wanting to take those damn cars down. The ones that are smoking are a vulnerable target. We must eliminate them. But more importantly, let's stay on the road ourselves. Which is easier said than done. I got clipped. Unfortunately, we don't have the same scope of views as we did in the first game. We've only got behind the car and first person view. I would have liked to have seen more options for visuals and, and camera angles, but, you know, they're perfectly functional as they stand. The other modes would have just been nice to have. They're not essential. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna get lapped. 18 cars still running, and I'm number 18. Of course, I'll totally edit this video footage to make me look better. Pretend I'm meant to spin out just to show a few visual tricks and to go. Uh, Around the line. <laughs> Around the race finish line backwards. Yeah, meant to do that. Totally intentional. I didn't just forget that the car was there that was a wreck and hit it badly. Now, Chalk Canyon. I remember this level rather well. Because there's a great big jump and I usually ended up on my roof at the end of it. Oh, smashed already. Wow! I'm not the only one. My hood's gone. Narrow races. Narrow roads. Narrow corners. Ugh. Scary stuff. Here's the jump. More often than not, I'd end up in the dirt on the corners on my roof. Finishing the race is as much of an achievement as winning the race. At least the game's courteous enough not to let you just slide on your roof forever. It, it lets you pick up where you left off, to a degree. It lets you wear your shame on your sleeve and let you continue. Of course, if the damage gets too bad, you can pit. And I think I might need to pit on the next lap. Here's the big jump. 
Oh, made it. Nice. Okay, let's jump that corner somewhat. Just staying on the left hand side of this jump to make sure I don't flip. And let's pit in. So we repaired most of the damage, not all of it. We didn't have time to do all of it, but I'm probably going to need to pit in again. Hopefully it should be enough to keep me going there. Providing I don't get sideswiped by anyone. The guy in first is lapping me, making an absolute sham out of my racing skills. Radiator's gone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow, survived that. Okay, I have to pit back in, otherwise I'm going to explode. That wouldn't let me pit in, I was going too fast. Damn. Okay, you're just going to have to race. Caution to the wind and just go for it. No, oh, nose dived. Trying to straighten up. No. Flames all over. Flames all over. Okay, one more race, I reckon. Caprio County Raceway. I don't remember this race course. So there could be a nasty surprise here. Or it could be just a banal kind of boring race lay layout that I don't remember. We'll soon find wow. out. Yeah, it's just a boring banal race course. That's why it's got eight laps. So there's more emphasis on smashing cars than passing them on this one. I lost my hope from that smash. That was detrimental. With the emphasis on mental. Watch it. Shit, 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 shit. That's not good, that's not good. Get out of there. It's very hard to steer now because of the damage in my car. Watch it. Your radiator's oh no, 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 no. That's not good. I'm not going to make this race either, am I? Just too aggressive for my own good. Oh no, no, there's debris in cars. Yeah, it's, it's that's good. But, ladies and gentlemen, that was Destruction Derby 2. I think that's enough video to demonstrate what that game's all about. What it's all about is wanton, delicious, delightful destruction. Ugh, do I do another race? Ah, screw it, it's already here. Let's, let's, let's just do this one. 
It's only five laps. We'll do it all in FPS mode. Give you a real sensation of speed and slamming. No, somebody slammed me. Let's put the kibosh on my plans. Can I recover? Tis the question. Big sweeping corners, no worries. Happen corners, worries. Okay, we're catching up again. Getting a rough idea of what corners we can take at speed and which ones we can. And then we're going to push that limit a little bit to try and catch up, if possible. It's very difficult to catch up in this game with difficulty has been spiked quite considerably from the first game. One wrong move like that and it's very hard to recover. Very hard to recover. One big slam and it's, yeah, it's, it's history for you. So I'm up on the grass, being overtaken. Getting first isn't a realistic outcome at this stage. Top five would be a, a desirable one, but even that might be tricky. I've only got one and a half laps to do it. And the racers are on point. They very rarely make mistakes unless they're forced to. Get going, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good. That's the race over. Luck has to be a factor in this game too. And luck's just something I do not have. So sometimes the races are a bit of a struggle. Sometimes they're unfair. But it just makes you even more determined to play more and race more try and eliminate the mistakes so that when luck doesn't go your way you can still win which I can't do right now but it's such a fun game view the stats view driver stats Two did not finishes. Track stats. Jump stats. Not much. Yeah, so that was Destruction Derby 2. And I think we're gonna call the stream there tonight. It's it's late. I just noticed it's it's over half one in the morning. I have work at 9am, so uh, yeah, better go to bed. Anyway, thanks for joining me people, I hope you enjoy playing some of these games along with me. Um, as I say, Road Rash games are awesome, except for Jailbreak. I don't know why Road Rash 3D doesn't get more love, uh, but we played some other really great games. We played the DD games and we played Street Racer today, as well as checked out that the Screamer Rally tech demo, which was really, really stunning. I'm, I'm quite impressed. I will look into that tech demo and see if any games that actually made it to retail use that tech because I want to play them. I want to see what it was like in the finished product. 
But anyway, until that time, guys, I may be streaming tomorrow night. So hopefully I'll see you all then. Okay? Bye for now, people.